In this video, you will learn how easy it is to customize the bookable online checkout of your rental website. If you have a rental website, either with bookable or through an external website of your own with bookable installed, you will know that your customers are able to input the dates and the times of their reservation, click through the appropriate product collection or catalog that you have on your website, browse through any available products and add these products to the online shopping cart. But what happens next? When they proceed to click the online checkout button, they will be shown the final page to enter in all of their personal information, view the payment summary and place their reservation. Follow the next steps to learn how to customize this online checkout to suit your rental business unique branding and requirements. In the online store tab of your bookable account, you'll see the option to customize your checkout either on the online store dashboard or under the checkout tab on the left hand side. Here you'll be able to enable customer accounts, add your checkout fields, choose how you accept payment in the checkout, allow or disallow coupon codes, add your terms and agreements if you wish, customize your back to website URL and add any additional scripts if you wish to customize your checkout further with CSS codes. Scrolling up, Let's go through each option. The customer account section will allow you to make creating an account an option or mandatory for your customers. If you have it as an option, your customers here will be able to still continue to place their order as a guest, but they will be directed to open a account with your online checkout if they wish. This makes it possible for your customer to log back into the checkout in future so their orders are placed under the same account. You can allow accounts to be mandatory. So seeing here, your customers are not able to proceed to checkout without creating a customer account. And you can also have the ability for customers to verify their account through email before proceeding. The most common options is to click off the verification and have accounts as optional, but you can choose whatever options you like. Next, and one of the most important steps is to add your checkout fields. So if you click that blue button configure checkout fields or go to the custom fields tab on the side in your settings, you can add a field either under customer information or order information. And these are the fields that you can later assign to your online checkout. These fields will also appear on the customer profile section or the order, uh, your in-store order section, whichever you choose. And you can click the link in the description box below to learn how to create custom fields further. If you have an event rental company, you might want to add a field such as event details. If you have a bike rental company, maybe a helmet size is something you need to collect from your customers. Or if you have an electronics um, AV camera rental, maybe you want the project manager name for the reservation. For me, I'm using the event rental company example. So here I will be collecting some event rent venue details and I will have that as a multi-line text, which also appears on a document. Here, once you've created your custom fields, you can click back into the checkout section and click the checkout fields section there. And here you will be able to add your checkout field, name it as you wish the customer to see it. So event venue details and choose your new custom field from the drop-down menu. And you can also have the option to make this required. So now when your customers go to your online checkout, they will see this new checkout field. This is a great way of collecting all the information you wish from your customers. Every rental business that uses Bookable is different and needs different information. And you can add as many checkout fields as you wish by following the tutorials in this video and also in the custom fields tutorial linked in the description box below. Now scrolling down, you will be able to set the payment in checkout setting. This is how much of the order amount you wish to collect at the checkout. So most people want to collect the full amount. Maybe you want to not require the payment in full. Uh, maybe you wish an in-store payment instead, or you can collect a down payment. That is a percentage of the order amount. It is different to the refundable security deposit. That is the amount that you charge as a damage cover, which will, will be returned to the customer at the return of the products. So for me, I'm going to select full payment is due at checkout, as well as the refundable damage deposit. And on my online checkout, this now looks like this. You can see the total 
of the order summary with the refundable damage deposit added on. Now scrolling down in your checkout settings, you'll see the option to allow coupon codes. So coupon codes are the promotional sale discount codes that you can click the link in the description box below to learn how to create in Bookable, very simple. And this allows your customers to add on discounts themselves on the online checkout. And it is completely optional. And then scrolling down in your checkout settings even more, you'll see the option to add your terms and agreements. So here you can add the text. Uh, it'll appear as a text pop-up for your customers to read through. And you can also choose the checkout label, such as I accept the terms and agreements. You can also make this mandatory so your customers will not be able to proceed to payment unless they uh, accept the terms and agreements. And here as an example, it is a text pop-up and I am making this mandatory for my customers to accept before proceeding to payment. Scrolling down, you can edit the back to website URL. So the back to website button will appear on all bookable websites on the pages and uh, on the online checkout rather. And maybe you want this to go back to the website homepage or maybe you wish the button to go back to the particular product page. Um, you can select your best selling product to direct your customers back to that or a product collection, it's up to you. And if you have any developers on hand, or a developer yourself that wishes to customize the checkout even more with checkout scripts and CSS codes, you can click the link in the description box below to learn more about additional checkout scripts in Bookable. In the heading above the checkout, you'll find the preferences button. This is the only other section under branding here that affects your checkout. And this is where you select your particular branding of uh, various buttons including those that appear and sections that appear on the online checkout in Bookable. So for example, if I change my color here to a nice lilac and press save on my online checkout, now the fields here, and this will also be the color of the online shopping cart have been edited. And the last step is the Bookable link. So in the online shopping cart, you'll see the powered by Bookable and in the footer, the powered by Bookable button here, you can choose to have that off. And you're all set. You've now learned how easy it is to customize the bookable online checkout of your rental website.